Skull Castle to himself. You'll never believe this. Hang on. See you later. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> He's doing a loop. He's doing a loop. There's people there, so he's gonna come back now. He thinks he's well sick at this. Here we go. <laughs> Bloody hell. There's a well zip about in here. Donald. You are well cute. We are now on day four. Uh, kind of burnt, kind of burnt. She's more burnt than me oh, because she has burnt. crap skin. Um, we're going to two or maybe one new beach. Uh, Scuba, uh, no, uh, uh, snorkeling for me because I'm not boring like her who doesn't want to do it. I'm too small for waves. You're not, you're not. You just crouch instead of lay flat. <laughs>
dinner. Our last evening meal. Boom. So we're back at the Marina Rubicon. Um, we just took the electric scooters here. That was very fun. So for dinner tonight, I had two plates of food and a whole plate of desserts. So first I had pork, which... Pull my finger. <laughs> I haven't had pork in God knows how many years, but Ronan was like, oh, it's so nice, we've got to have it. So I could got pork, green beans, carrots, a bit of salad. Um, and honestly, I'd give that pork like a 4.5, plus the veggies, um, plus the sauce. It was like a 4.5, and I'm kind of just like, I kind of want to eat pork and gammon now. Um, then my second plate of food was um, a plate of spaghetti with the Neapolitan tomato sauce, again. And then a Tenerife tomato soup which was really tasty so i give all that five and for dessert i had coconut shavings kiwi um, watermelon mini little meringues and some sort of chocolate cream cake slice a small one you know um and that was all delicious like five amy it's delicious and then what did you have just a mountain of meat. He had like pork, pork chicken. chicken, the crackling of the pork. Yeah. Uh, then I had a bowl of spaghetti. Then I had a bowl of ice cream. That's fine. That's fine. For everything <laughs> because I mean, yeah. The fact that I don't get judged for loading up a plate. Of oh meat yeah. There, great. There's no shame in eating like multiple plates of food. Um, and then we've literally just got a whole bag of snacks and also cat treats. So we're gonna do a lap of the cats for the last night and then uh, go back to our room, eat some snacks, drink some tea. Sadly, 11 o'clock. Yeah, 11 o'clock. And then head off to bed. It's beautiful here. We've made it a chore every night to uh, go out after dinner and feed the local cats. And we've been told by our scuba instructor that this guy here is Mango and he sleeps here every night on his little bench his little wooden bench um, so we come and give him some dreamies we're gonna we bought a packet and we have half a packet left that we're gonna write a note and leave it in the scuba place to give to the cats while we're gone because yeah there we have uh, Mango there's a black cat that has a name beginning with B I think it's like Barry or Benny or something like that. Uh, we have Tube Cat, a cat that lives in a tube. And his ginger friend. And his ginger friend or possibly girlfriend. We have Wheezy, which is a cat that wheezes. He's very old. We have Fluffy, which is a big fluffy ginger cat. Well, I'd say the beach club gang. But yeah, it's kind of like a beach. They live in a beach resort, these cats. They have like the greatest life ever. Um, yeah, there's a calico cat which we think is pregnant and um, just on our way back we saw a cat that we haven't seen since our first night here a uh, grey and white one and beautiful 